Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and I'm going to walk you through our CMS starter config, which you can use to get Tiny MCE set up and running in your CMS project, whether you're building a new CMS or updating your existing CMS. So first of all, if you want to get the starter config, I'll post the link in the description and you can go ahead and add it to your project. It does use some of our premium plugins, so if you want to try those out within the config, you can always sign up for a free 14-day trial to test them all out. All right, so let's get going. What I've got here on the left is my HTML for my fake CMS app. And on the right, I have my fake CMS here as well. The only thing that really works is the tiny MCE editor over here. Let's take a look at what's going on here. So I've got the CMS starter config all loaded up on the left here. And I'll just walk you through some of the top features that are used within this config so you can decide whether or not you want to use it for yourself. If you're in the CMS space, you've probably heard complaints from your users about how hard it is to copy content from other apps into your CMS. Sometimes the formatting gets lost or sometimes your developers complain that the HTML gets completely garbled and doesn't display very nicely on the front end. Here at Tiny, we've come up with PowerPaste, which takes the content from those popular productivity apps like Word, Google Drive, or your web browser, processes the content that's output, and turns it into clean and compliant HTML that looks good within your browser. So I'll just show you really quick here. I have a fairly complex Word document that I wouldn't normally expect to paste nicely into my CMS. But with PowerPaste enabled, it retains the formatting. Okay, number two, accessibility. So if you're in the CMS space, you probably care a lot about accessibility, whether it's because you want your content to be accessible to your audience, or if there's legislations within your jurisdiction that penalize you for not having accessible content. Either case, don't even worry about it. TinyMC has got you covered. Another premium plugin called Accessibility Checker alerts your users when they go to check for accessibility. So for example here, I have an alert uh, telling me that my table must have a caption. I can put a caption in there. I have an alert telling me that it needs a header row. I can add that. And lastly, I have a contrast issue here that needs to be fixed. So once all that's fixed, Tiny MCE will give the content a green light and your content is good to go. Okay, next up we've got Link Checker as well, which can save your content creators and your content administrators a lot of headaches. So let's say for example, someone goes ahead and adds a link to this content and the URL doesn't work. First of all, it's gonna show a little alert on the right here. And when they go to save it, it's gonna be highlighted in red. Again, this can save you a lot of time and troubleshooting once content is already published. Catch it before it gets published by using Link Checker in the starter config. Okay, so while we're on the topic of keeping content compliant and high quality, you wanna make sure that your spell checking actually works according to your brand standards and whatever vocabulary you're trying to use. So TinyMCE has another premium plugin included in the TinyMCE CMS starter config called Spell Checker Pro. What Spell Checker Pro allows you to do is choose from a variety of dictionaries, different languages from around the world that have been professionally translated and apply those to your content so your editors and your content creators can catch those spelling mistakes in real time. If you have custom vocabulary such as brand terms or scientific terms, you can also add those to the Spell Checker Pro so that those can get caught and they're not flagged as incorrect terms. Okay, moving on to creating engaging content. Another feature that we find popular within CMSs is our advanced tables functionality. So TinyMCE comes with a very robust tables functionality as is, but many CMSs decide they want to take things to the next level and allow their users to do things like sorting, even advanced sorting. This can be particularly helpful if your users are dealing with large data sets with multiple columns and they want to be able to present that data in a consumable, easy to understand way for their audience. They can also number their columns as well with the advanced tables plugin. Another feature that we consider table stakes for CMS editing is our enhanced image editing plugin. So with TinyMCE, your users can definitely add images to the rich text editor. However, they'll want their image to fit around their content and match its style, just like they're used to doing in other apps. So we have enhanced image editing, which is a premium plugin, which allows your users to do popular image manipulation functions like cropping, adjusting brightness and contrast, 
and things like that to really make their images pop within their content. We've also included Enhanced Media Embed, which lets your users copy content from sites like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and other places, and embed them within their content and preview them within the editor. So let's say I copy this YouTube video in here. TinyMC will automatically embed that content and make it interactive within the editor. We've also included other tools within the CMS Starter Config to let your users be more productive. For example, if they have longer content, they may want to add page anchors to their content. And then as they're adding links to other parts of their content, they can link directly to those page anchors through a drop-down list right here. We've also included things like search and replace, word count at the bottom here, the ability to show the visual blocks within the editor so users can visually dissect the various HTML elements and understand where they're editing, as well as the autosave plugin, which automatically saves content in your user's local browser and alerts them if they try to close their tab before saving. Okay, so before we wrap up, we'll just take a quick look at the code and see what other kind of more advanced configuration options we've included within the CMS starter config so that you can start thinking about how you want to include TinyMC within your CMS. So at the beginning, we have our plugins listed. Then the toolbar is defined right here. And then we get into some of the specific configuration items. So with the accessibility checker, you can specify which accessibility level you want your content to be checked against. You can also configure the style formats, which are what appear in this drop-down menu right here. You can override image resizing. And you can restrict what CSS classes are applied to your content if you want to keep your content locked down and free of rogue styling. You can enable and disable image captions. And of course, if you're building a CMS and you want to include some predefined blocks of dynamic content, you can use templates and non-editable, which are two very powerful plugins. So let's say, for example, we want to add a section called related content. We can go insert, insert template up here and choose related content. And what this will do is it'll be populated with whatever you tell it to be populated. And we've made it non-editable so that users can't change that around. This is particularly useful if you have stock quotes or other content that you want locked down and predefined. And of course, you can define what languages you want TinyMC to work in, the editor height, and if you have some special CSS that you want to apply within the editor to mimic what it's going to look like when it's published on the front end of your CMS, you can include that here. Now, in here we've included some CSS inside the JavaScript, but we normally recommend including this in a separate file just to make it easier to manage. Okay, so that's the CMS starter config. If you want to get started with it, head over to the link in the description, sign up for a 14-day free trial to test out the premium features, and give it a whirl inside your CMS. Hopefully it gives you an idea of what you can do with rich text editing with your CMS and inspires you to expand beyond the basics of rich text editing. Of course, if you're looking for more content on rich text editing within your CMS, check out our blog at tiny.cloud or check out the links in the description for more videos. Good luck.